Disclaimer. This video is meant to guide you through the process of modifying the graphics driver. That does not mean this video guarantees 100% of your success. And I am not responsible for any failure that you may experience. Hi, so it turns out a lot more people than I expected are actually looking to upgrade their laptop's GPU into fresh new GTX 10 series. I did it and I made a video about it. Uh, it's a silly video, it's really for laugh and jokes. But this video is going to be a bit more serious. I'm going to explain you what to know before you get the GP, uh, GPU for your laptop and what you need to do after when you get, if you get GPU for your laptop that may work. First thing first, Pascal GPUs does not support LVDS. There are two different types of connecting your laptop and your laptop monitor, LVDS and EDP. LVDS is a bit more traditional. Um, it's been used in many different laptops in the past. EDP is more new and if you have a laptop that has 120 Hz mon monitor or 3D support, then chances are you do have EDP. Some laptops, like this Sager, um, it does have EDP even though you have just a traditional LCD monitor that is 60 Hz. In this case, you might be able to use Pascal GPU because it's connected with EDP. However, if you are certain, if you, you have to be very, very certain that you do have EDP because if you have LVDS, it's not going to work. Another factor to just uh, mind, be mindful about is the power limit. Uh, Pascal GPUs in the laptop GPUs, MXM GPUs, MXM 3.0B actually. So MXM 3.0B Pascal GPUs are exactly the same chip as desktop and they use a lot of power. So if your laptop is not able to supply enough power, you're going to have power limited, power capped all the time. And that's what's actually happening with my laptop. And it's only performing slightly less better than 980M. So in that case, if your laptop doesn't support um, supplying so much power, then you might be better getting 980M. That's just one of the advice that I can give. So in terms of hardware, your BIOS will support your new graphics card. If you have EDP, your entire system is probably and most likely going to support the new graphics card, the Pascal. But there are a few things you need to be aware of. The drivers. Unlike desktop, not many people are going to upgrade their laptop GPU. And one of the reasons is that NVIDIA is really sloppy with their drivers. You can see that I'm running GTX 1060 on this laptop, even though NVIDIA's driver doesn't officially support that. So when I try to install a driver for 1060 on this laptop, it's going to say your device is not supported. And to fix that, you need to do something called NVIDIA INF uh, driver mode. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it on the Windows 10 because it's slightly different on Windows 10. You have to do one extra step to make sure you can install this um, unsigned new driver, modded driver. With that being said, let's move on to the screen. Go to nvidia.com and download the drivers as you would download the drivers for your computer as usual. Um, GeForce GTX 10 series notebooks, um, just make sure that you have 10 series notebook because um, they are in using the same numbers, I mean the names. I have 1060 and Windows 1064 bit. Download the driver of course. Alright, once the download is complete, well, um, just double click to extract the thing like you would you normally do. Um, so far it's not too hard, so but the hard part is coming. Oh yeah, hard part is coming. Hard part is coming. Actually, let me explain what we are going to do in the meanwhile. When you first launch the NVIDIA Display Driver Installer, then it's not going to install the driver for you. It's going to say where well, your computer is not compatible. The reason is, if you open your computer management into Device Manager and click the well I already have the previous version of driver I'm upgrading so it says GTX 1060 but it might say say uh, a generic generic VGA driver or, or something like that it could be inside other um, places but it could just say it's this display but you probably will be able to figure out which is which anyways if you go to the 
properties of this device go to the details and click the hardware ID then you will find something like this now this one line is going to be very important 1C60 stands for um, GTX 1060 1781 is the model number of this computer this particular laptop model but the model of this laptop 1558 is the uh, ID for the Clevo and Sag laptops now NVIDIA installer have to find this particular subsist number so it's going to install the driver for this particular laptop so to do so we we'll need to change one of the drivers file which is called INF file INF file is the file that contains which computer is able to install the NVIDIA driver like I said NVIDIA graphics driver installer fail because it's not compatible and all with the giant X all right so we are going to fix that now oh by the way before we talk about that I highly re recommend you read this website this article is basically a summary of everything you need to know uh, about modding the BIOS so I open up my C drive and you will see NVIDIA folder inside your C drive if you have extracted the driver and inside inside this um, folder called international you'll find display dot driver inside here you will find multiple um, INF files and because I have a clever I need to look for nvcvi.inf so nvcvi nvcvi if I just double click and open then you will see funny stuff like this now find 1c60 then you will see like a like a set of computers that is compatible with um, installing the driver but as you can see you, I can't find my laptop's um, c uh, number because well the Nvidia doesn't officially support it so what this what this let me just decode this for you um, if PCI event blah 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 this is your computer then install section 144 of the driver and that's what that's exactly what it's going to do now you don't know and I don't know and or, or nobody really knows what section you need to install in order to have your computer perform correctly so um, this is really just random and luck you could try the section 144 and section 146 and or or maybe 152 and um, you know any of these can work and any of these can just you know not work if you have installed section 144 and your computer is you know acting slow even though you have your driver on uh, everything to everything seems to be okay but your game doesn't run as fast your performance is bad you get a black screen or anything like that then you might want to try installing this another section in this case maybe 146 or 152 now on that note what we're going to do here I'm gonna say I'm gonna install section 144 that means that means I need to match this 74811558 with one of these simply change that with 7481 and or you need to also make a change over here to 74A1 if you keep searching for the 1C60 you will find another group down um, down somewhere like this one and uh, as you can see these sections are in odd numbers the previous one was in the um, even numbers we will have to change it here again well if you read this article you don't have to you just have to change one but um, you can change both of them and you'll be still fine so I just change both of them as a insurance so I'm, I know what I'm doing I mean I so so I know it's going to work also if you scroll down a little bit more you'll find 1c60 again in over down here this is simply to show you um, GTX 1060 inside the uh, computer management the device manager um, well it's optional I guess because you don't you know really have to see that you have GTX 1060 but it's always good to have it 
So change one of these um, to 7481, uh, which uh, to match your computer ID. Now simply save this, but then if you try saving this um, to the same location to override this, you can't do that because because it's going to have permission problems. And what I'm going to do is save this file in different location, and then I can close this now, and then copy and paste this into the into this folder and replace a file in destination uh, you need permission I place continue because I have administrative um, control in here or you could just open the notepad in admin administrative um, permissions and you might be able to just directly overwrite this but it's always good to have a backup if you have NVCVI um, and go to security settings, you, you can see that no group or users are able to read or write this at all. So simply click edit, add um, system. Uh, your computer's name in my case is Jeremy. And um, I don't know, administrator. There we go. Give a full access to all of these people apply okay okay all right you're good to go with the uh, permissions now then now you can in, on windows 7 you can just double click on the setup.exe and install the graphs driver however on windows 10 you will have a few more issues that issue being um, because you just changed the driver is now unsigned driver is is not official official graphics driver is you have you because you made a change in it so what you will need to do is you will need to go to the systems settings uh, click update and security and then click troubleshoot inside well actually not troubleshoot uh, recovery that's what it is and you will see advanced startup settings uh, click re Okay, since the computer is in really the BIOS mode, I have to use my camera and point at my screen like this. But what you want to do is go click on the troubleshoot. Click on advanced options and click on startup settings. And then you will see these, you click restart. These are the startup settings. Ooh, ooh. And you can see disable driver signature enforcement. So that's what you want. Click number seven. Boop. Seven, come on. Boop. There we go. All right, now that you have restarted your computer into the um, do not enforce the driver signature mode, you will see um, setup.exe is blurred out. I mean, not uh, whited out with the icon is gone and all that stuff. Well, that's natural because there is more permission problems so when you when you reboot in this in this particular mode. I don't really know what's causing it, but. A simple fix you go to sim simply go to click on the right click on the international folder the entire folder and go to the security settings click edit now you can see that everyone doesn't have any um, permission give them um, all the permissions with the administrator or also having all the, all the permissions so simply click apply and then it was going to apply for the every single files inside the folder and click OK OK and then um, is the icon still going to be blurred out? I mean, is the icon still going to be whited out? But you can run the program. It's going to check for your system compatibility and all. And just I'll just leave it as it is to do the do the thing. All right. Um, you can now install the driver. Agree and continue. You can either install it express, so I prefer custom, click next, okay, you are going to install all these, click next, and you are going to start to, going to start installing the stuff. Now, um, there is one more thing I need to tell you before, um, you know, the driver is going to be all finished installing. Now, since you have disabled uh, driver signature enforcement, it's going to ask you if you know what you're doing. It's going to ask you, um, do you are you sure if you want to install this thing? Um, then you can simply answer by yes, I know what I'm doing, 
and well, how how dare this computer thinks that he's better than me? Um, I didn't for some reason I didn't get that um, warning message right now, but um, in in a normal situation scenario that should just pop up right here. I think that's because I am installing basically the same driver as I have right now. In any case, that is really the end of this story. I hope this. I try to make this video as intuitive as possible. Um, if you have any questions, I can try answer them. And that's going to be in the I don't know comment section below.